Dom Link, it's your boy Ink. Welcome to another video. Welcome to another show. Guys are doing well because they're having a fantastic flipping day. If you're not, let me make it better with some Funko Pop collection or son of a truck. Sometimes the pleasure lies in little things. Today we're unboxing the one and only Jim Bay from One Piece. Now, um, when I do these, I like to have a moment where I talk about the character, I talk about how I feel about them. The reality is in One Piece, I'm only so far, we haven't been with Jim Bay yet. I, Jim Bay didn't save, didn't join the team. But I know how it goes. I know a lot about the character. And Jim Bay is kind of cool. It's more about what he represents that's kind of cool. Um, it's more... It, it, what you present is phenomenal. So again, I don't know much about it, but still. So first of all, let's check out the figurine. It looks freaking good. Jim Bay looks amazing, right? Why Jim Bay is so cool with a character is let's go with chronological order. And the third episode of One Piece, we have Zoro asking, dude, we're only two people. What is it gonna be in the rest of your team? And Luffy draws a fisherman. And that fisherman, and he wants a musician and a cook. And at the end of the day, every single person that he wanted in his group is a person that had it. Sanji is a cook, the musician is Bone, the fisherman is Jimbei. But it's, what is, it's not so much Jimbei himself is what he represents. Jimbei was one of the water lords before. He was replaced by, um, it wasn't one of the four, it was one of the Yonkos. It's Shanks, Big Mom, Kaido. I think crocodile. I think Jim Bay replaced crocodile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. And um, why it, why he's so cool? Why he's so fucking cool? Because of what he presents. So the very first notion that we have of fishermen are is Arlong and his crew. Now Arlong is an asshole, and uh, even in his crew, there's this character that is a octopus, and it's kind of cool. So you say, okay, well, they're not all bad, but the fisherman in itself, which is Arlong, is an asshole. And then you realize that there's one of them. Uh, that Arlong, he had a tattoo of a sun, right? And Jim Bay had the same tattoo of the sun. And then he realized what it means. And the um, aqua people, or the merman, or whatever the fuck they're called, uh, the fishmen, it's like, it's the fishmen, right? You realize that the fishmen, look how nice this is, look how nice it is. The fishmen, you realize that they were victim of racism, they were victim of ostracization, they were victim of being called monster, right? Because they were different. And then you have this one guy that was like, Arlong was like, fuck you, you think that we're bad? You think that we're, you're being racist towards us? We'll, we'll show you just how strong we were. We are, we'll, we'll, we'll acquire respect by fear. And then you had that guy, I don't remember the name of the guy, I think it's something like Tiger, but he was like, no, we're, we're gonna prove that we're, we're gonna prove that we're good people. And they bring this girl on board, this girl that's called Koala. And this girl, she's not so much important where I am in the story, I'm at, uh, I'm just before Cake, Cake Island. That's a point so much important, but they're telling her, hey, we're fishermen, aren't you afraid of us? And she's like, no, 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 I, I need to be, I need, I need you guys. And you got uh, Jim Bay, who really followed the teaching of, dude, if we're good people, it doesn't matter if we're fishermen, we're gonna be okay. Um, which is also cool is that um, Jim Bay is a fan, not a fan necessarily, but he knows Whitebeard, and Whitebeard is very loved by other pirates. Um, Whitebeard could have been the Pirate King if it wasn't for uh, Luffy. I think Whitebeard was the proper, like, kind of like a proper choice for Pirate King. Of course, I want Luffy to win, but I think if it wasn't for Luffy, I, I would I would kind of say, okay, well, Whitebeard, I would like Shanks to be Pirate King, and that's pretty much it, right? Who else? I'm not gonna say Law, because I don't know Law enough. I'm not gonna say Kid, Captain Kid, because I don't know Captain Kid enough. But I think Whitebeard would have been a good choice. So, Jim Bay, knowing Whitebeard, is like, okay, well, guess what? Uh, I respect your team. And if you know Whitebeard, you know is a lieutenant. So you got two lieutenants, which is Ace and Marco. Marco having the Phoenix fruit and Ace being Luffy's brother. Now, Jim Bay ends up being in jail in the arc where Ace sadly dies. And Jim Bay is sharing a cell with Ace. And Ace is talking about Luffy and how much he loves Luffy and how much Luffy is a good character. So Jinbei comes in in this very specific way. Jinbei is such a, a unique, underrated character. And the reason for that is because if you look at Jinbei and himself, you're, you're looking at a character, if you look at, at Zoro, Zoro fell in love with Luffy determination, Luffy kindness for the others. If you look at Sanji, 
uh, Luffy fell in love with the fact that he wanted to, to travel the sea. He fell in love with Luffy being a free spirit. He fell in love with Luffy's appreciation for food. He fell in love with the fact that Luffy was able to say, guess what, dude? I'm, I'm able to, to appreciate the fact that you want to feed people and you want to protect people and you want to help people. Uh, he didn't seem like a pirate. Right? If you look at Usopp, Usopp, the reason he drained the straw hats was because they helped him. He was a liar, but they didn't care about the lie. They actually treated him like a friend. They were super nice to him. And there was also the fact that Luffy no Shanks. And uh, to, to, to Usopp, there's this fucked up part, there's this really fucked up part about Usopp, where I believe that his father joined Shanks, and Luffy, uh, Usopp see the similarity between Luffy and Shanks is like, well, I'm... I'm gonna follow him because my father follows Shanks, right? And um, Usopp, he follows Luffy because, again, Luffy's a great guy. And you look at La Nami, the reason why she follows him is because he saved her, and he forgave her. If you look at Nico Robin, the reason that she, she follows Luffy, I actually don't know really know Nico Robin that much. Uh, and Bones um, is because Luffy was kind to him and treated like a normal person even though he was dead. And he was on this hunted boat. But Jimbe, Jimbe, knew Luffy before because of Ace. Then he saw Luffy acting. He was like, holy shit. Holy shit, this guy is great. And it's funny because it's super funny. It's kind of crazy because if you look at this very same video, right? I was talking about our Harlong was uh, was delaying my fear. Now, Jim is part of the Big Mom crew. And the reason why he's part of the Big Mom crew, he doesn't like Big Mom, but he's fearful of her. And the only reason he's able to say, fuck you, it's because he trusts and Luffy's power more than in Big Mom. It's like, if somebody can free me, if I can follow somebody that can defeat you, if I can go away from you, Luffy's the one gonna be the one to free me. And the fishermen are exactly that. We're seeing them as victim of racism. We're seeing them as a victim of being treated differently. But in reality, they didn't choose to be fishermen. They didn't, ch they didn't choose their faith. They were just born in it. It's like a, a curse or a, a gift, depending on who you ask. But Jimbei, I love the character because, again, of the fact that he feels like... I'm going to say that he fucked up, okay? I'm going to say he be super fucked up. So, um, if Ace if, if Ace survived, not even Ace, if Ace survived and Whitebeard died, he might have joined Luffy. If Phoebe didn't have problems at La Banasta, she would have joined Luffy. Jinbei feels like he was supposed to. It feels like he follow, he follow the, the mentality of Luffy and the Straw Hat, even though he's a fisherman. He feels like he he, he really enjoyed, and there's the fact that he really liked Ace, but Ace really liked Jinbei too. He really likes him, so it's like okay, well, I don't mind if you drink my brother's steam, you know. That's pretty much why I love Jinbei. I love you guys. Take it easy. Peace.